What is up, guys? <laughs> we, we got a space shuttle. We got the shuttle here today. So this is, um, this is the second one that I have, uh, I printed off. Uh, the first one, I did a, I did a, so, okay, so let's, real quick. So you got, you got three 40 millimeter X-Fly motors, uh, EDFs in the back. And uh, yeah, so, so the first one, I flew it three times and it flew great. It flew, it flew fantastic. Um, it was, it didn't have enough thrust though, for some reason. And what I've come to realize is that I flew this thing on two motors and, uh, it, it, for some reason, when I did the thrust test in my house, I usually hold the plane like vertically and then I hit the thrust and then if it wants to, to, to rise up and it's, and it's got more than uh, one to one power to weight, uh, we're good to go. So, uh, and it did, it had more than one to one. And then all of a sudden when I get to the field, I, fe I felt weak, like weak sauce. So I think when I did that thrust test, one of the mo one of the motor wires here went into the into the motor and it sliced one of the motor wires. So anyway, long story short, the uh, the motor wire wasn't working. So yeah, so we didn't have we did not have optimal thrust, but it still flew great. But it was underwhelming. So I went ahead and cut some some reliefs uh, so the motors could get more fresh air when it, you know around the side and on the top. So I have a small battery pack in here right now, just because I want to see how it flies with a lightweight setup, and then I'll switch to the 22, 2400 LiPo. All right, so it's it's roughly right at the wing brake. Okay, so we're good to go here. Hopefully I don't have an auto, and on the on the first video, the first flight, I can, I can add some clips of it if you guys want, but the first flight, for some reason was in focus perfect and then the second flight was not in focus which was really weird so i hope that the camera doesn't do that again and i hope that we get a good flight in regardless so oh now the wind's changing so i'm gonna throw it this way right into the wind all right ready hopefully it's working hopefully there's the focus is working oh yeah Oh, it's got a lot of thrust. Look at this. <laughs> it's got, it flies really good. And it's windy today, guys. Right on the money. Look at this guy. Got a lot of roll rate too. Sounds crazy with the motors in the back like this. Wow. <laughs> Almost dropped them. I really hope the sun doesn't come out because I don't have my sunglasses on. Sun is about to come out and I'm gonna get blinded. All right, I'm gonna bring it in because not only is the sun coming out right now, but I have, uh, I have a really small 1500 in here with three motors. So I'm gonna bring them around. Oh my God, it sounds crazy. It sounds insane. Off throttle, bring her in. Oh, yes. Oh, cool, guys. Wow. Look at this guy. All right. Let me unplug. Let me unplug it real quick. Whoa. Little 15 hundo. Look at that. Little tiny 1500 in here. All the um, the uh, the spaceship stuff with uh, with Cochrane made me want to do my own. Uh, my own space shuttle and uh why not the traditional space shuttle so okay so i think 
you know what? I'm gonna just pause this real quick and I'm gonna come right back and start up another one uh, when I get the new battery. Okay, we are back. And so this is what it looks like with the, uh, with the 2400 in here. It just sits. So you can run a 1500 light and, uh, and you'll have no problems with that. But it'll, it'll be in the nose though. So that's, that's the one thing you gotta, you gotta know. So this is, this is good to go guys. This thing is, uh, it, it, it flies great. I mean, there's nothing to it really other than just throwing it. And I got, uh, I got hand launchers underneath. See those, those hand launchers there. And you just put your finger, your finger on the back here and you grip it like that and just throw it right into the wind. That's all you gotta do. Plenty of power. <laughs> Three motors. So sick. All right, let me slow it down. Slow her down. A little bit of up trim, just a little bit. It doesn't have any weird tendencies. So I built a couple of these spaceships. Now this is not a fighter jet, guys. This is a, a novelty item, okay? You're gonna be able to fly this thing, no problem, it flies great. But I mean, uh, it's got good stall, stall characteristics because it is a traditional Delta. Um, it will glide in under, no power. But, uh, and it is windy today. So when, when I'm gonna come back out when it's not windy slow it down again for you here I could actually bring this I'm gonna the next flight I'm gonna move the CG back a little bit look at this guy <laughs> roll it getting blinded sunglasses I'm gonna go get them before my next flight <laughs> slow her down again that beeping noise somebody asked me what that beeping noise was and that's when I actually go off throttle I just cut the throttle back uh, I think it's under like 10% is what it does, actually. <laughs> I got some serious wind, 15 mile an hour right now. Watch it slow down, ready? Watch this, check this out. And she's got some weight. She's got three ESCs, 340 millimeter motors, and a 2400 SMC pack. So it's not really like. <laughs> when it wasn't so windy on, uh, I think it was Saturday or Sunday morning, she flew really, really, really good. Even with two motors. Now there's plenty of power. All right, I'm gonna bring it in. Sunglasses. Look at that. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my sunglasses because I'm struggling here. And then uh, next battery, uh, I'll be able to fly a little bit better. Okay, we're back for battery number three. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how easy this thing is to build. So you can assemble this whole thing and this, this piece right here inserts into a, there's a, um, a negative space right in there that this whole motor mount that you print just flat, it prints up, you glue the motors on with hot glue. These little covers, just you just, you just glue them on uh, with hot glue also. But the, the holes, there's three holes um, in front of each motor. You put the ESC and the wires straight through 
and uh, so there's no you can have all the motors connected and um, and then everything just plugs right in it's just really standard build you don't have to you don't have to assemble anything um, uh, after you can you can basically build the whole plane and then uh, and then like assemble all the electronics afterwards so here I'm gonna I'm gonna move the CG back just slightly let's just see where we're at here the CG bumps are actually good starting point but this is one finger hold behind okay let me just make sure that I'm good and secure here yep we are Okay, the wind died down a little bit. I'm gonna give myself dual rate. Aileron is dead on. Elevator, I'm just gonna go up to 125. Okay. So CG is back slightly. All right. Where'd you up there? Okay, ready? Let's go for it. It actually fell out of my hand <laughs> when I was throwing it. Luckily, I just pushed it hard enough and it went. <sighs> so cool. Yeah, CG back a little bit is good. Actually have another battery. I can run a 2200 standard. Slow her down. CG is super forgiving. High speed pass. Straight up like a space shuttle. <laughs> this is so cool. This is just so funny. <laughs> the roll rate is crazy on this thing now. Fifty percent. So you need about seventy-five. I would say about seventy-five percent in order to keep her going. Stall characteristics, low level shouldn't be doing that. Oh, this battery is weak sauce, guys. Weak sauce. I remember this on Saturday. This battery was super weak. So I'm gonna bring this in because I have to label this battery. This one's going in my pocket. Oop, I think I lost a motor, a motor cover. Yep, a little too high alpha there. Okay. All right, well, that's not gonna hurt me from, uh, or stop me from from flying it again. I'm gonna throw it up with a with a standard 2200 and, and see how that goes. Um, actually, you know what? I only used a couple dabs of hot glue on the motors. So, oh, let me unplug this battery real quick because you know how this goes with the heat. Little ESCs get hot quick. Okay, that one is the weak sauce. The good ones are in here. Okay, this one's full. All right, so let me take, I wanna take these off of here. I just really, really lightly glued them on. There we go. Okay, now I got the three motor covers off and I wanna see how this goes uh, without them. Because sometimes when you open up, when you, when you funnel the exhaust of the motor, uh, it does, it does actually slow it down a little bit. Let me just feel the 
guess he is. Actually, not that hot. Okay, that's good. Alright, man. This 2200 is heavier. So I'm going to... Make sure... Alright, I am one finger... Behind. I'm actually going to go back a little bit further. Last battery, last flight. See if we get a little more performance without the without the cones on here. Okay. All right, ready? We're gonna have full sun in a second. Ready? And oh, oh, that was a bad throw. Okay. So that's weird. I wonder if I'm am I down a motor? I felt a little weak. Let me see here. Let me go out. All right, let's see what happened. Shuttle is fine. No damage. Motors are good. Oh, there it was. A motor, a motor wire came loose. I lost the motor. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's still running. Oh, something happened. So yeah, it gl it's glitching. Uh, okay. So I need to, I'm going to think of something clever so that there's no issue with, um, with motor wires getting sucked. I'm going to have to think of a way, maybe some kind of a stopper or like a plug that I can put in the hole. Um, so that the uh, yeah, servos are good. Wow, that thing that thing really hit the ground hard. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna figure this out and just figure real quick how to maybe just put like a little a little plug or something to hold the motor wires from backing into the fan. I just used a little hot glue. I should have used more hot glue. I didn't use enough hot glue, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that would have worked fine if I didn't, uh, if I didn't skimp on the hot glue there. So, all right guys, this was fun. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you guys will see this thing again, I'm sure. Um, there's really nothing else to do other than just figure out a way to keep the wires from, from going into the, uh... actually I could, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to cut out little motor recess wire channels underneath here and then the motor wires are going to go are going to get pinched against the fan so that they're not loose that'll stop it a little bit from going into the fan and then um and then i'm going to have to figure out how to how to stop the wires that are in here from coming out the holes so all right i'll figure that out thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one